Hi, my name is Erin Dale Plunkett. As the creator of the International Health and Wellness Summit, I would like to welcome you on behalf of all the incredible speakers to this exciting online event. During these amazing presentations from this global array of speakers that have gathered here together today to share their abundance of knowledge, you will have the opportunity to learn about a variety of subjects and healing modalities that are impacting your health and wellness from your past, today's times, and also in your future, which by being present here today, you will learn how you too can empower yourself during these intense historical times that we are living in. So please sit back, listen, learn, and enjoy the wisdom that is being shared with you from these global experts that have gathered together here just for you today at the premiere of this event on May 9th, 2020. One more detail that I would like to share with you is that each of the speakers has crafted a very special offer just for you for attending the International Health and Wellness Summit. Be sure to enroll in the special offers that resonate with you and where you are in your own health and wellness journey. Again, on behalf of all the speakers and myself, Thank you for joining in this exciting event. Be sure to let your family and friends know about it so that they can enroll in learning what actions they can take today to empower themselves to improve the quality of their health, their wellness, and their lives. Complimentary access will be available for a specified time for those attendees that request access to the video from today. Afterwards, for a nominal fee, you will be able to purchase these recordings. Have fun, share, and enjoy. Thank you very much on behalf of everyone. Hello. <laughs> And I, I want to welcome you to the International Health and Wellness Summit being held today, Saturday, May 5th, 2020. Thank you for registering for this exciting online event that has been created just for you. My name is Bill G, and today I'll be sharing with you my presentation, which is, uh, I'll give you the long title right now, and that is Let Spiritual Response Therapy Help You Be the Superhero of Your Story. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. So without further ado, let's get this, let's get this thing rolling. I'm going to share my screen here. And I have a presentation. And while the presentation is going in full screen mode, I'm not going to be able to see you guys. At least I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to see you guys. So I'll just, um, I'll periodically stop the presentation. So that way I can see if there's any questions hanging out in the chat, and we will move on from there. So, all right, let spiritual response therapy help you be the superhero of your story. Uh, my name is Bill G. I'm an SRT, spiritual response therapy certified consultant. I am an author of three books, and I am a public speaker, and I love, love doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so first, as an introduction of what is spiritual response therapy. Uh, spiritual response therapy is a dowsing technique that uses a pendulum and a series of charts developed by Robert Detzler that can access your soul records, also known as your Akashic records, to help clear blocking programs, contracts, and entities that are preventing you from living your best life. How does it work? Well, that's a great question. So uh, the movement of the pendulum allows the practitioner and the client to access the Akashic record and the charts allow for their interpretation. 
Once the record is revealed, we can then instruct our high self to remove and or transform the program into a healthier, life-affirming model. We are literally changing your life story. So what does your soul record say about you? So a little bit about me first. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm a, I'm a certified consultant. Uh, I've written three books. I'm a public speaker. I'm also currently the president of the board of directors for the Spiritual Response Association. Uh, and I've been in that position for just over a year now. Um, and uh, I found spiritual response therapy was a wonderful thing for me uh, personally. Um, even though I've been doing SRT since 2003, um, I've only really been doing it professionally for the last few years uh, because I spent most of my life being a people pleaser, getting people, you know, uh, just uh, trying very hard to please others without following my own inner path. I was in public education. I was 13 years in the corporate world. I was in, a, in, in accounting and I was in corporate compliance. I was overweight, hypertensive, and have it, had several stress-related surgeries, which was not fun in the least. Um, but after learning Reiki and then later learning SRT, I discovered that I really enjoyed helping people. I mean, now, yes, I'm a people pleaser. I want to please people. But at the same time, what I really want to do is empower people. And so with Spirit's help, I was able to clear all the programs and blocks from my soul records that were the foundation of that prior belief system where I had to sacrifice my health, I had to sacrifice my well-being in order to please other people. And then when I got all that cleared out, I made a deal with the universe. I said, Spirit, show me a way to leave the corporate world and I devote my life to helping others find their highest potential through SRT. And then um, after I made that deal with the universe, I got laid off from my corporate job and I was like, okay, time to put up or shut up, go big or go home. And so that's uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm very, um, very pleased that that's where I am right now. And I could not be happier. I'm doing what I love and I'm helping people um, help them rewrite their own stories. So first thing we need to uh, establish here is what is an Akashic record or what is in the Akashic record? Uh, Robert Detzler def <clears throat> defines the, the Akashic record as everything the soul has experienced from the moment of the divine blueprint until the present moment and beyond. So everything that you have ever experienced in your entire soul's history from its formation all the way to your present life, every past life, every future life, all of that exists in the Akashic record in your soul individual soul record. So what we have to do in spiritual response therapy is we have to get into the library. You know, if you imagine that the Akashic record is this big library, I mean, here we got a, like a comic book library, but it's, you know, it, it's our, our life is just one big adventure. And every lifetime is ever is one big adventure, just a, a, a culmination of experiences that we are living day to day to um, learn lessons, elevate the soul. Uh, but you know, a lot of that drama, a lot of those uh, lessons, the karma and all that stuff get built, get, gets built up through the ages. We really could use a bit of a pick-me-up with that. We can use a way of going into the, that Akashic record, into that library and rewriting some of that history. So that way we can have a better experience, better life experience. So first of all, the Akashic Record is made up of memories. These memories are experiences of the soul. And so what's really cool about memory is that um, modern neuroscience has indicated that our brains are not where our memories are located. Um, they've been working very, very hard at uh, mapping out the brain and they find neurons in the heart and whatever. And the original thinking was that the brain was this somehow this biological supercomputer that can store gigaquads of information. And that's just not the case. That's just not the case. What they're finding is that the neurons are actually antennae. 
and they are picking up on the collective memory out in the universe. And that is the sum total of you. It's you're accessing your Akashic record every day when you're thinking of things. And so if you can act, so if it exists outside of yourself, you don't need brain surgery to change your memories. You don't need to have these massive interventions to change your story. So experiences. So memories are made up of experiences. These are planned before you're even born. Uh, the non-physical entity within you, that soul, that, in, that immortal piece of you, choosed, chose to incarnate into a physical body in order to have certain experiences, which are planned while still in the non-physical state. Now, some people have important things they want to learn or important experiences to have, and some of those experiences we look, you know, we look at them and like, oh my gosh, you know, did I really want to be born into an alcoholic family? Do I really want to have a, um, a life experience that was going to be so painful with disease and death and war and whatever? And the answer is yes. Yes, you did choose that because you wanted to have certain experiences. Because experiences inform your soul. They're neither good nor bad. They exist to inform the soul about the nature of existence. And how we interpret those experiences is, is what we assign value based on our own moral compass. So, um, again, we have a moral compass. We, have, we get an idea of the difference between light and dark, good and bad, and we want to have a positive life experience. So how do we do that without, you know, you know, it, when, when we come in here, we're like, oh my gosh, I put this plan into place. I got to live it. And do I, do I have any choice about this? Can I just, do I have to keep going through the motions here because my soul made this plan eons and eons ago? Maybe, maybe it's time to change the plan. So we do that work through high self. So high self is the highest form of yourself in the non-physical realm. Everybody has a high self. It's both part of you and part of the all, okay? It exists in the non-physical realm and is connected to all your lifetimes as well as the highest expression of yourself. It exists in multiple dimensions, Okay, the high self doesn't exist in the third dimension. It, it exists in higher dimensions. And uh, these multiple, these, uh, and they're also made up of multiple beings. So, and that forms a high self committee. And they're all a part of you. They're all there to look for you. And because they're, the high self is you, your high self holds the keys to the library. They hold the keys to your Akashic records. So when we are doing an SRT session, the very first thing we do is we connect to your high self. We make sure that you and your high self are working as a team and that they have the power to read and edit the soul record. So what's in your soul record? It contains your story. story. Uh, we, we all travel a similar path and that Similar path is ascension. We are moving towards ascension. Okay. And so we're, um, but your individual experiences, relationships, dramas, those are unique to you. So that is very, that is, that's your story. So the great news is, though, is your soul record is not written in stone. We have the ability to change it to a more positive experience, no matter what it's been, no matter how bad you've had it, no matter how bad you've had it in past lives and how much you've set things up in this lifetime to live a most horrible life. We can change that. We can tell the soul record. We can, we can tell high self and we can ask high self, please change the soul record so that way we can have a more positive life experience and we all have that power we are all co-creators of the universe we are co-creators of our life and that allows us to do just that so what do we do how does it happen we do this in a 
uh, SRT session. So this is what you expect. First thing we do is we connect to the high self and the high self committee. We make sure that we are in partnership with our high self committee and that we are all working here and we're all on the same team. Next thing we do is we clear our personal blocks to seeing the information we because what we need is to put ourselves in a neutral space. We need to have a neutral space when we're looking at this so that way we don't get all caught up in the emotions of it. Neutral space, let go of results, and we're just going to see what's there and just make it happen. Okay, and then we're going to locate the programs and blocks in the soul record using the charts. And then we're going to ask high self to clear those blocks and programs. And it's relatively simple because once we've discovered them, once we've done the research, then we just ask, ask and you shall receive it. So, uh, uh, so above, so below just, you know, it all works the same way. Okay. So, Right now, I'm going to just talk a little bit about what we are clearing. First of all, that what we're clearing is blocking energies. Blocking energies are your negative motivations, your attitudes, and entities. Because, you know, we're, uh, there are uh, low-level entities out there. You know, we've got these um, uh, uh, low-vibration entities uh, who are who we attract, especially people who do any kind of light work, they're attracted to us and they're trying to block us. They want to keep us from living that best life because they just want to feed off of us. And so we need to clear those guys out of there. Um, and we have habits. Your hab there we what are your habits and external energies that are preventing you from living your best life? And by clearing and replacing these habits and energies with with positive stuff. So what we'll do is we're taking those blocking energies. Say you have a blocking energy of a self-punishment program. You have a, you, you're one of these people that are constantly looking for ways to make your life worse, or you just assume your life is, is, is not going so well because, you know, that's just my lot in life. Well, there is probably some kind of blocking energy that is feeding off of that. Did that come from another person? Did somebody give you some kind of program? Did somebody give you an inheritance? You know, that kind of thing. So we're going to get rid of that stuff. Now we have programs. Programs is a belief that has been accumulated in the soul records as a result of experiences before the soul incarnates. Programs can also be introduced after the soul incarnates as well. And they're introduced while the soul is in transition in the spiritual realms. So what dramas and beliefs are you holding on to from your past lives that are preventing you from living this life to its best powerful outcome? And so by removing the blocking and negative programs from your soul record, we can now replace them with positive life-affirming programs. So if you are one of these people that approaches life from a, um, an attitude of lack, we can replace that with an attitude of abundance. We, first of all, we need to figure out why you're having that program, and that's what we do the soul research for. And then once we understand why, you know, how many past lives has this been building up in, then we can change it. Then we can switch it around and turn it into something positive. Okay, next thing we have are soul contracts. A soul contract is a multi-layered set of programs connected to a single repeating pattern or theme. These are often complex stories spanning several lifetimes in both the physical and non-physical realms. These are your stories. These are your stories that you hold on to lifetime after lifetime, and they repeat themselves over and over again. Uh, for example, if you're a type of person who uh, can't have a you know, you, every relationship you have is seems to be with the same kind of person. You know, they, they never work out because you know you're a giver, they're a, they're a narcissist, and you know it, it just becomes a really nasty thing that happens over and over and over again. Well, chances are you came into this lifetime with a soul contract based on lifetime after lifetime and lifetime of these things building up. And so these are difficult to change because it's hard to figure out what, well, what's the history of all of this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself again? I have no idea. And then we do the research and like, ah, that's the reason why. And the thing is, it's a complicated story. 
Um, when I do soul contract clearing, it reads like a novel. There are, there are characters, there are sub characters, there are plots and subplots. And then what we do is we take that whole script, that whole big thing, and we throw it in the holy fire and we let it all burn. And then while that is burning, we replace it. We replace it with something that's life affirming. And if you, I mean, you're, not, you're one of these people who have a problem with uh, relationships and whatever, we're go and we're going to say, okay, I am replacing that soul contract where I attract narcissistic people and I always get burned and they always cheat on me and oh well, my God, I can't, I can't, tr I have trust issues and whatever. We're going to replace that with, I am going to attract people who are loving, who love me for who I am, and that. I am whole in and of myself. I don't need somebody else to define me. I don't need to have that kind of relationship anymore. And now I can, I am free to express myself the way I want to. And then you are free now to write a whole new story. You don't need to, that, that anchor that was holding you on into that pattern has now been cleared and replaced. And that's what that's one of the beauties with doing this type of work. So what happens next? You know, you've gotten all your clearing programs, negative blocks, and whatever. You're like, okay, what do I do now? And the answer is anything you want. You can now tell the universe through the law of attraction or whatever other system you want to use. I can do whatever I want. And the thing is, if you do it with love and you do it with um, you, without these negative blocks and programs and these, these, these negative self-talk that you do, if you do that without it, all, I mean, all that's gone, the whole world opens up and wonderful things start to happen. Now you can work on the most important work of your life, and that important, most important work is you. You. You are the most important person in the world because you're, <laughs> you got a soul that needs to, to grow. You, need a, you have a vibration that needs to happen. And we're going to help you do that. But the work, the hard work, that's you. That's all on you. you got to do that. So what can we do with all this new power? You can realize your full potential. You clear the blocks, programs, contracts that keep you from realizing your full potential. You're able to fast track the ascension process. Because the ascension process in its natural state, and Yogananda um, uh, talked about this, in the natural state, just going after lifetime after lifetime, it takes millions of years and thousands of lifetimes to get all the way up to that highest level. Well, if we learn our lessons and we clear the programs and clear the contracts, we are now accelerating that process. We're making it go faster. And, and that way we can connect more to source energy. We can connect to the love. Because the purpose of all souls is ascension. Ascension back to source is a slow, uh, slow process that can take hundreds of thousands of lifetimes. We can fast track that. We can make it a lot faster. I mean, I, uh, very often uh, can, uh, uh, clients will come to me. It's like, I am so tired of living lifetime after lifetime. I mean, you know, I've had all these past life regressions or whatever. I've had past life research. I am done. I just want to get, I want that prize. I want that brass ring. I want to go, I want to be part of source energy. Well, you know, you got to clear out the, you got to clear out the crap before you can do that because that, that's all that stuff weighs you down and prevents that from happening. So it also opens up the door of developing good habits. You know, when your energy is at a high vibration, you will naturally start to develop healthy habits. You'll lose weight. You'll, you'll start to meditate. You'll, you're, you will start exercising, and you'll be able to get that endorphins, those endorphins from just being, um, rather than going through that rat race anymore and uh, just, you know, feeling as if you're in that low vibration space anymore. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, um, all right. So before I go into my special offer, I will put this down and I will do my stop share real quick. And all right. So um, 
questions, questions. I'm more than happy to answer your questions right now or read your comments. And uh, we'll, do, we'll do this for the next five minutes or so, and then we'll uh, I'll talk about my special offer. Okay. Um, uh, that is South Node Astrology. So nice seeing similar themes. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's amazing to me, especially when I'm listening to other people who are doing this kind of work, even on, the, on, on today's um, symposium here, is that uh, we all do similar work. Um, I heard um, someone this morning who was talking about, um, uh, I forget her name, but she was talking about uh, Blocks to Abundance. And she was talking about programs, clearing programs. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's, we, we're, we're doing it. That's the work we're doing. That's the important work that we're doing. We're clearing programs, opening up the door for these higher vibration moments. Um, let's see. Um, yes, and we're all doing it. We're all doing it. Okay. Uh, any other, any questions, comments? Love to hear from everybody. We do have a we do have a, a decent amount of people here. Um, uh, this is my pendulum. <laughs> um, I'm actually um, actually if, if you're interested if anybody's interested in actually learning SRT, uh, we have um, the the SRA the Spiritual Response Association um, has a website called spiritualresponse.org. And you can go there and you can check out, we have a list of certified teachers and you can learn from any one of them. Currently, I'm not a certified teacher, so you can't um, learn it from me. However, uh, yes, you're interested in learning, excellent. So you go to the spiritualresponse.org. It's all one word, spiritual response. And there's a list of teachers there. You can find, look for one in your local area. Uh, more and more, we're teaching this online, especially, you know, given the fact that we have to do social distancing, but classes are taught online, um, and they are, they're conveniently scheduled because we have people who do SRT all over the globe, in, and we're currently in eight different languages. In fact, our biggest growth area right now for new practitioners is China and, uh, and uh, Central and South America. So those are, uh, also we've got a very strong contingent in Hungary and in uh, Eastern Europe and the Czech Republic and the UK. And it's, it's one of these things that is just, it keeps growing and growing. And I'm so, so happy about this. This is a, this is a wonderful uh, system to, to learn. Even if you learn the system and you just decide to incorporate it into your other practice that you already do, which is great. Or if you go decide to go the whole way and say, hey, you know, I want to be a teacher or I want to, you know, become a certified person. Yes, yes, spiritualresponse.org. Thank you. Um, uh, you know, and you'll see my smiling face there as the president of the board. And um, uh, uh, we also have a, a, a newsletter through the Spiritual Response Association. Uh, and we also teach other classes. If you wanted to become a member of our community, um, how does it com this compare with shamanic soul retrieval with uh, reintroduced purified soul energy back to present time? It's very similar. In fact, uh, when I was doing my own uh, work to um, to get ready to do this work, I did do a shamanic soul retrieval, and then I after that I was started to you know that helped me find the programs that I needed to be have cleared. Um, but yes, it's very, it's quite similar. Uh, like I said, it's all the same work. It's like when you're reading, um, uh, when you're reading books like, you know, from Eckhart Tolle and you're working, uh, the Deepak Chopra and, uh, uh Greg Braden and, uh, uh, David Wilcock and, you know, all these other guys who are, who write about this stuff all the time, you learn pretty quickly that they, they all sound the same because it's <laughs> because it's because it's it is the same. And we're all going. We're all working towards the same goal, and this is just one system that helps you do it. Um, yes, a fabulous system to use uh, personally and with clients. Yes, absolutely. Yes, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Nelia. Yes. All right. Okay. So. Um, 
Okay. So I will go back to my screen share real quick. Is there any other comments or questions? All right. Okay, we're going to move back to the presentation because I have a special offer. My special offer is if you're ready to develop your superpowers, now is the time to start. So if you are interested, uh, I normally charge $80 per session. Uh, and actually, it's an $80 per hour. But if you wish to get started right away, uh, for this set for this uh, for this um, help my health <laughs> international health and wellness summit um, you can uh, you'll get twenty dollars off and uh, when you send me an email uh, and I'll give you my email address in the next slide the next actually that's in the next slide that's me if you when you send me you, uh, your email and you want to request an appointment, uh, just let me know that you saw me here. In, this is available for people who watch the replay as well as the people who are here in this room. Uh, so within seven days of this particular event, uh, if you want to redeem that, just let me know that you were here and um, you get $20 off. And uh, let's see, uh, that's my website. Uh, my books, I'll show you my books right now. My uh, my first book is uh, this one here, Conscious Conduit, A User's Guide to Ascension. Uh, this is, and all these books are available on Amazon. And we have Spirit Path Book of Days, Volume 1. And just hot off the presses is Spirit Path Book of Days, Volume 2. Uh, these books are specifically... Uh, I mean, they're geared mostly to people who understand energy work who un or understand SRT. But anyone can enjoy them. Um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from all three books. And um, it's, a, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a little primer on how to use the pendulum in your everyday life and how to uh, connect with spirit. And also there's business tips on there if you want to turn this into a business. If you wanted to uh, become a SRT practitioner professionally, and uh, so there's tips and tricks in, on how to do that. Um, with the SRA, I also teach a number of classes on how to run your, uh, your business, uh, how to uh, do speaking engagements, how to do, um, how to do your taxes if you live in the US, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm more than happy to share that information as well if you are a uh, practitioner. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're an SRT practitioner, if you're any practitioner in the U.S., uh, I can definitely help you there as well if you're looking for uh, some help with um, building your practice and finding tips and tricks on how to do that. Uh, any, let's see, uh, let's see, let's, we're going to, we'll stop the share again my share thing. So I'll stop share, go back here. And uh, are there any uh, questions, comments? Thank you, Rob. Yes. Yes. SRT is awesome. I mean, when I first discovered SRT, um, I'd been a Reiki practitioner and master teacher uh, for a few years. And when I started pulling the pendulum and started pulling charts. I was like, wow, Reiki on steroids. This is pretty, pretty cool stuff. <laughs> um, not that, you know, I'm not saying that Reiki is a bad thing at all. I, I, I know a lot of people who do very, very well with Reiki. Um, but for me, it was, uh, for me, I, I provided, a, SRT provided a deeper connection than I could with Reiki. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Well, uh, we're a little bit ahead of time, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Bill, this is yes. Ellen. Um, why don't you let people know that uh, about the uh, American Society of Dowsers, that they're going to be having it online? And oh, and absolutely. Together. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. I am a member of the, Amer the American Society of Dowsers. 
I was scheduled to teach a workshop at their national convention, but unfortunately, the college where they were holding it at um, in Plymouth State University uh, is closed for the summer because of COVID. And so what they're going to be doing instead is they're going to be doing something very similar to what we're doing here today with, <laughs> with the... Uh, with the International Health and Wellness Summit. Now, I don't know, think it's, I don't know if it's gonna be doing the exact same thing, but they are going to be, the convention is still going to happen over um, several days in early June from the 3rd to the 7th, I believe. And they're going to, uh, still going to have our keynote speaker. We're still going to have everything, all the workshops and all of the speakers are still going to go, uh, but they're probably gonna do something very, very similar to this online event type of thing. So uh, for people who are really bummed out that there is no ASD convention this year, there will be an ASD convention. It'll definitely be a lot more scaled down than what they were hoping to have. I mean, it was going to be the 60th, man. It was going to be big. They were going to have, they were going to have concerts and all sorts of awesome stuff and it didn't happen. So it's unfortunate. But anyway, we do have, there is something and we've already got the dates for next year, which I don't know off the top of my head, but it will be at Plymouth State University in the uh, uh, in 2021. And so it will happen. And we're so, so looking forward to that. Um, and I'll be there. Absolutely. Because I have a blast. And especially on the top of the fact that Plymouth State University is only one state over because I live in Vermont. <laughs> Okay, um, all right. is there anything else, guys? No, okay, well, let's see. Um, all right, thank you for your attendance and for attending the International Health and Wellness Summit. All right.